Air, along with Greg Mills. Several local families, though, are vacationing in Cuba right now. David Vanderveen of Orange County joins us now by phone. David, thanks so much for joining us. What is the mood like on the streets right now there? Well, it's a great question. I think it's, it's very quiet here. You know, um, the American or the U.S. perspective is probably a lot different than maybe the perspective of many local Cubans in Cuba. Um, whether people agree with Fidel's politics or not, he was the major political figure here for the last almost 60 years. And so there are I a lot of people you know? who, are, who are, you know, who, who are mourning and are grieving. Whether, whether they like the lack of freedom or whether they're fighting for freedom. I, I think uh, the mood here is in quiet. I was talking to my bus driver today, and he said, look, do you feel danger? And I said, no, I, I, I really don't. It feels very safe. And he said, you know, we may not have very many things, but we're happy. We have music. We have rum. We, we, we have safety. We have health care. And um, so I, I think there's mixed emotions. There's mixed feelings among the people here in Cuba. But for many of them, this is somebody who's been uh, a leader for their country, for good or bad, or you know, for other reasons. And so it's uh, there's a lot of shock. There'll be uh, you know some big ceremonies here tomorrow, and uh, you know it's it's not quite as cut and dry as maybe we we hear in America at times. David, what would you say the ratio is between people who are actually celebrating his death there in Cuba and those who are actually going to be mourning during the mourning period the I'm next several days? Here, you know? I, I haven't met anyone who's celebrating his death, and, you know, we're having some very candid conversations with people we've gotten to know. We've been here in San Fuegos and we're in Havana now. Um, you know, and it's not just because of, of the, you know, the threat of, of the government. Um, I, I, there are people here who want more freedom, for sure. There are people here who want more access to nice things like we have in America. Um, you know, we were almost killed in a car accident, literally almost killed in a car accident last night. We have five families. We had six, you know, pre-1959 vehicles we were driving in. And, uh, and literally two of our cars were wiped out by shrapnel from the accident that, that nearly hit our cars. Um, it was an in, in, a very distressing night in a lot of ways. But at the same time, um, you know, we're never worried about, um, you know, somebody shooting you. You're never worried about a lot of the, the things that are dangerous in America. Um, and, and so I think there's, there's a difference here between um, maybe the security that people expect versus the, the quality of life that we here, expect you know? in America. And I think, uh, one, I, I haven't seen anyone who's Everything celebrating his death ahead in of Cuba. Us. But, but we do see a lot of people who are, who are uh, you know, who lost a great leader, whether they agreed with him or not politically, who, who uh, are looking for what the next phase of, of life in Cuba might be like. All right, David, thank you so much. Obviously, a very, very big difference between the way Cubans who have made it here to America feel about his death versus the people who are still in Cuba. And again, you do have to wonder, though, if some of that is still lingering fear from right. a government that has controlled the way they've lived and thought for many, many years. Of course, stay with CBS2 and CBSLA.com for continuing coverage of the death of Fidel Castro. Reaction from Miami's Cuban community ahead at 530 on the CBS Weekend News.